Fire and Rescue Services faced with all types of incidents, and this includes various rescue scenarios. In the last year, the Fire and Rescue Service responded to 3,541 special service incidents, which included rescues from sewers, technical rescues, building collapses, and so forth. The majority of these incidents are, however, motor vehicle accidents, which may or may not require the specialized tools, and each rescue vehicle is equipped with the jaws of life. As the motor vehicles are equipped with newer technologies, more airbags, uh, changes between petrol and battery operated vehicles, sensors that work on the vehicles, different materials that are used, all this necessitates rescue equipment that will reduce the time to extract patients that are trapped. The older models were obviously limited in their reach as they were connected to a generator with umbilical cords. Also, these generators could not be used in confined spaces where flammable gases were present. Any spark could be catastrophic and a bit on the heavy side. The new equipment is electrical, cordless. The batteries can even be exchanged underwater and it is a lot lighter and can be used in confined spaces without the danger of having to consider flammable gases. This equipment enhances the city's commitment to delivering a world-class emergency service to the public and our visitors.